Welcome to Watkins Glen for, I believe, 29th race of the season. Hopefully no one launches off the track like they usually do. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it does not. Now the field rolls off. Then you have to just make... Taking a look at the field here. So it's a road course race, you know, not, not a lot of drivers like like it. But Watkins Glen, it's got one of the best road courses out there because it brings a lot of exciting racing and stuff, other stuff, I guess. So the rookie takes the pole, ran the fastest lap here at Watkins Glen. Amazing. Just beat it to two of Colin Martell, a pro driver in this league, just by a few seconds. And then that 32 takes the pole for the first time this season. It's still a test car too. I can't, I don't think I seen the real thing, but let's just leave it as a test car. A few drivers have to start with their test cars. No sponsors were hopped on just yet. Alright, coming off the last turn, wait for the pace car to pull down pit road and get this race started. There he goes and waiting for the green. Green fire. Two got a better start. Looks like he might get the lead here. We usually don't see that. The 32 might fight back. Clear. He's all clear. The 32 trying to get through the S's. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. Here comes George Rook. 32 tries to block. Unable to get the second. <clears throat> uh, this is going to be dangerous here. I uh, don't slide off. The 32 slides off. I don't get it. And only one. Oh no, we got a big rack. Really big rack. That is not good for the rookie. Did not slow down enough. Started on the pole. Did not leave the lap. Could not cross the line first. Slides off. Now she's out.
Oh, caution's out early. Let's take a look at the replay. I don't know. She was a bit faster. And she launches off the track and into those barriers. Ah. That is bad. Everyone scrambles. Where's the wreck start, though? Everyone just hitting each other. The 4, the 31, the 5, going around. The 34, the 13, 52, the 16. They're all involved. Everyone's involved. Still plowing into each other. Big pile up, but not a lot of damage on these cars. Think they're okay, but whoa, the 3. Think he hit the barriers as yeah, 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 he did. Was running in 15th. Was still able to run it, but no chance to win this. At least he has won once this season. Well, I guess increasing the grip and lowering the AI strength still does not work. We have four drivers out of this race, the 24, 32, 5, and 3, leaving us with 38 cars left. Call Martel. Who ran out of gas the uh, last lap uh, no not the last lap the f three to go I believe and he led the race he made some contact with the 20 then could not make it on fuel for some reason pace cars in now Green flag and George Roke spun the tires. Kyle and Mew looking but decide to go back in line. No three wide action. Someone's gonna launch, someone's gonna launch, someone is gonna launch the one. Oh wait, never mind that. There's a huge wreck. And everyone's still scattered all over the place. They're trying to avoid everything. The one still launched though, but there was an even bigger wreck and they're still going at it. Oh boy. This is not good. The two is still leading this thing. And the caution comes out again. We'll never get one green flag lap. Let's take a look at the replay. Ed Kellen Washer making contact. Looks like he's trying to block or just following the 47. And this is going to get ugly over here. Oh man, look at how. Look at that 7 car. 40 gets clipped at the last second. And then they all are wrecked all over the place. Seven to th yeah, he's out. He's out of this thing. Then we move ahead. Everyone starts to pile in here. 52 and a 22. 15 going around. Everyone wrecks. Then there's Coburn. He's done. Everyone going right through the grass. Think it'll work, but nope. Never gonna work. Stay out the grass. Oh, but it looks like it's worked for the 18 though. And no. And then the 48. I don't know what happened to him, but he just drifted again. Gets into the barriers. He didn't. Yeah, more drivers hit him. Oh, big damage on Jeff James' car. Let's stay back to the restart. Here we go, lights are off once again. 35 drivers are left. Base car is in, and here we go. Green flag, and 76 spun tires. 
I can already see some drivers trying to make a three wide back there. Ain't gonna work. George Rowe closing in just a bit though. No, just fall to two and you'll be alright. Don't go all the way there. You're gonna lose a lot of ground. Look how much look at the gap between the two and the eighty-three now. Just about to reach halfway. Under caution. Cause they're gonna wreck again even though they're single fall. So he's gonna launch off and plow that tire barriers again. If they can just lock it up. And there goes another two. And they're still wrecking all over the place. What the hell? Everyone's there now. No, I don't think I should bother just looking at the replay. There goes Ed Cal. Ah, just hit it. And they're still going at it. Fuck this, man. Fuck this. Fuck this. I thought this track was good. Told you. Told you they're gonna do this on reach halfway under caution. Once again, the two is the leader. Well, once again, the caution comes out because there was a wreck through the S's. And oh my god, look at that Tony Barrel Roll who just won at Pocono. Clipping the 30, oh, the 13, the 33, and the 18 pound on the wall. And he's still able to run that thing. But look at this clusterfuck. My god, first two drivers. Who launched off with a 42 and the 11. Use the damn brakes! Just bobbing and weaving and then they just launch off. Arca brakes. I know. Someone snuck Arca brakes in their cars. And not just their cars, everyone's cars. Look at this! We usually don't have this, but I'm starting to see it. They're, gonna, they're doing it a lot. Ugh, they're all just piling, keep piling in, keep piling in, and teammates colliding as well. And there's more drivers. All three front row motorsport drivers launched off the track, and they still continue. Ed Cal, I believe, the last one to do it. And woo, look how fast he's going. And doink. What were they thinking? Let's take you back to the... What the hell? That's clearly Rage over there. He just launches to 51. Ah, I kind of messed up the restart. But here comes the 83. He got a better start. He's looking. He's looking. Can he get the lead? First lead change. Chris Kyle in second. I'm um, third. But he's way back and almost got it. Can't do it. Through the S's. It's hard. Really hard. Martel gets that lead back. If you could just clear him in the first few corners, but not through the S's. And watch these drivers launch off again. There goes the 14. There goes the 38. There goes the 51. And there goes the yellow flag. And there goes the yellow. As they continue, you know what? No, 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 no more, no more replays. No more replays of wrecks like those. You already know what's going to happen. And we're under caution once again. This is complete horseshit. There's got to be a way to stop drivers from doing that because I've done everything. There you have it. We're skipping to the restart. Fuck it. Restarting with two to go. <laughs> we're going to end this under caution. 27 drivers left. They're all going to launch. But can we get an exciting finish? I doubt it. Because with these drivers launching off the track, it's impossible. Maybe I'm going to turn off realistic weather on this track. I think that's the re real reason why. But because uh, I've, I've ran this track before 110%. They did not do those races that ran 110. They did not launch. With two to go, everyone's trying to get as much spots as possible. George Roke spun the tires again. Can Colin Martell get a win? He had a bad season. He's having a bad season again. Christopher Kale moving in the third. He's trying to move the third. Kyle's trying to get it back. And watch them launch off again. This should be fun. And, uh, uh, that's, that's right. And whoa, there goes Roke! Hard on the wall, caution, 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 and oh, Kale! Now he slides. 
Gonna lose those spots. And looks like Colin Mortel is gonna win this fucking race. Not that I don't want him to win, it's just that this race was complete horseshit. Look at how many drivers. Why is the caution being called over there? I gotta turn off these cautions. So, once again, the race is pretty much under caution. The whole thing. Might as well have everyone do pace laps for the whole race, because that's what they can only do. Sick of this. Quite funny. Well, that's certainly terrible. Well, there you have it. That's your race right there. What a terrible race we had. That was bad. Really bad. But Colin Mortel finally gets a win. After all these bad races he's have been having. Here you go.